I'm Sanjong Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And this is the second episode of 2017 Asian at Home Holiday Special Recipe. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make amazing Asian at Home style side dish that goes really well with any kind of main uh, dish that you're serving to your family or my prime rib it actually goes the best so if you are making that you definitely have to make this spicy long bean stir fry so let's get started first let's mix up the sauce so in the mixing bowl you will need two tablespoons of tu banjang. Tu banjang is a spicy bean paste, where it says chili bean sauce. It's tu banjang. Is you can really eat to find this at Chinese grocery store or Asian grocery store, or you can also order online. You will need two tablespoons of tu banjang. It is spicy, salty, and so much flavor. It's this umami bomb chili paste. It's amazing when you stir fry and two tablespoons of oyster sauce. Oyster sauce will give nice saltiness, another umami bomb flavor in there. And if you have an allergy to the shellfish, go and then go ahead and use um, the vegetable or vegetarian oyster sauce. There's a thing like that, trust me. You can order online really easy. I will put the link down below, so check it out. Lastly, let's add one teaspoon of sugar. Just mix everything together. This is it. How simple the sauce was that, right? All right, the sauce is ready. So now I'm going to chop up some garlic, maybe three to four cloves of garlic. This depending on how much garlicky vegetable dish that you like. I like my garlic to be nice and finely chopped so it will stick onto the long bean evenly. And let's chop up some shallot. You can definitely use onion if you want to, but shallot is so much more milder. That's why I really love using it. Chop it away. Time to cut the long bean. It can be like my hair, you know, like I got new bangs. <laughs> you can find this really easy at your local Asian grocery store. Um, you cannot find it. Yes, you can use just regular green beans. That's totally fine. Okay, now I'm gonna trim the edge and cut into about two inches long. And I'm not gonna set aside with the garlic and the shallot because they are going into the walk time is different. So make sure they are separately set aside. This is such an amazing twist to your holiday meal. This is about a pound of uh, long beans. All right, lastly, some bacon. Oh yeah, we cannot have our holiday without the bacon. You know what I mean? So today I'm going to use a six slice of thick center cut bacon. So if you're using regular thick cut bacon, then go ahead and use only four of them because the center bacon has more meat and less fat. That's why I'm using six of them. So I will have more meaty bite, but I still need a lot of fat help. Just slice it into bite size, about half inch wide. All right. Okay, all the ingredients are ready to go. Now we are gonna heat the wok over high heat or highest heat that you can make. Add one tablespoon of cooking oil into wok, then slice the bacon. Stir fry bacon until nice golden brown, about four to five minutes. Then add the chopped garlic and shallot. Stir fry the garlic about 30 seconds to one minute. It's really depending on how high your heat can go. When you can smell the beautiful aroma from the shallot and the garlic and before they get burned, when they're just slightly getting into soft texture, this is a time to add the sauce mixture. We are gonna stir fry the sauce because tubanjang it tastes so much better when they start fried in the oil first. It won't take any longer than 30 seconds because the sauce is really easy to burn because there's sugar in there. Now quickly add the long beans and quarter cup of chicken stock. Stir fry all together. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you have a lid on your wok, go ahead and cover it so it will steam it through all the flavors and the long beans will be fully cooked. Just to start occasionally. But I don't have a lid for my wok, so I just decided to add a quarter cup of water to help the steam and fully cook the long beans. Start frequently so it won't burn on the bottom. When the long beans are perfectly cooked for your taste and there's no more liquid in the bottom, then it's done. It takes about five to six minutes. How easy was that? This is probably the quickest, the most flavorless, and easiest holiday side dish ever. All right, now let's serve. Depending on what you're serving with, you can finish this with some sesame oil and sesame seeds, but I'm not going to because the, the prime rib I'm going to serve it together, it's just not working with sesame oil that well. So I just decided not to, but oh my God. Mm. So good. Mm 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 mm. Mm. Mm, so good, guys. Mm 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 mm. mm. It's so good with prime rib. If there's any left, but then my prime rib is done. Mm. This will be amazing with chicken. Just everyday side of dish. I mean, you don't have to make this only holidays, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm, so good. So, so good. Okay, last. Mm. So good. If you liked my spicy long bean stir fry, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun, even the holidays. <laughs> I'm Sangyang Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye!